nice right there. I'm adding gas and I didn't realize how cheap it was. Now I did use uh, my Kroger discount, but right now I'm paying a dollar eighteen a gallon. A dollar eighteen, that is crazy guys. Okay, so just a little bit of information about that last house. I drove by earlier and I did see them putting a bunch, a bunch of stuff out. And uh, it's about 10 o'clock when I drove by and I didn't want to bother the guy. Being that it's dark and such. And so I came back about an hour later and uh, I didn't really have time to pick through and see anything. I just took these boxes and we're going to go through them right now and see what was in them. That being said, um, yep, let's get started. We'll go with this one first. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go through this stuff now and see what we find. Got this Build-A-Bear, I'm not sure if we could wash these or not. Might look at it, see if they're washable, and maybe just uh, give it a cleaning.
kind of marking. Oh, it's 18 karat gold plated. Some stuff. All right. All right, this is gonna be a little bit harder to film. You see, it's a big box, so I'm gonna go through it first, and then I'll show you what I find in this box. Okay. Okay, this box is pretty cool. We're gonna start off with this neat little box here. Bunch of Legos. Uh, Legos always, always do well. So, hold on to that. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, this is Ulta. I've heard about Ulta, but do people buy these? Y'all let me know if these are even sellable. I'm not sure. Cool little. It's like a, I don't know if this is a set or what, but. Looks like it went together. This says it's Gucci. I'm not sure if it's real or not, though. I don't like to judge by a book by its cover, but judging by the house that I got it from, I would say it is real. But we'll look into this one. this neat little box and it has hmm, let's take a look at this stuff see if anything's worth anything Wait a minute. They got something stamped there. I have to look at it inside. This might be real gold. I don't need to untangle it, but you never know. Could 
Could be gold. See anything in here? somewhere but with everything being closed I'll probably only keep I don't know the dinosaurs kind of messed up they got to it with some kind of I'll let y'all know if this is real or not. All right, guys, it's getting a little bit harder to see because of the mist in the air. But um, I did get these cool. Um, I think these are for like DVDs. You put your DVDs in there. Just opens up. You stack them in. So it's a good storage system. I um, might hold on to this one, I'm not sure. Probably not, because I'm really trying to get rid of my DVDs. But good will find. But I want to say my biggest find, the greatest find I found tonight, is this guy right here. And let me tell you why. This is not your typical radio flyer tricycle. This is by a company called Aero Collectibles out of Orange, California. I'm sorry, Airflow Collectibles. And these are really nice custom made uh, bikes, little tricycles. All metal. Really good condition. And someone who's like a hot rider would really, really dig if they're kicking out something like this or, you know, someone who rides motorcycles or something like that. But this is a really nice bike. I'm going to look up to see how much these guys are going for. These are really cool looking. And I'm really glad that I picked this up because this is really nice. I would hate to have seen this kind of trash. And that's why we do this, guys. A lot of people question me why you go out there and dig through stuff because one you saw that chain it might be gold it looks like it's 18 karat gold i can't be 100 but i'm gonna check it out but second stuff like this why in the world will this be in the trash beautiful piece i think and i saved it from going to the landfill <laughs> 